Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. I'm sorry if the camera works just a little bit shaky today. I dropped my phone yesterday and cracked the front screen, so my camera on the front's not working, so I have no viewfinder. I don't know if this is on my face or not. Uh, so if my eyes are facing a different way, uh, that's why. Uh, but today we got a little bit of a project to do. Uh, today's actually my mom's birthday, so happy birthday, mama. Uh, we've got a little bit of stuff to do before we go to town to eat supper to celebrate her birthday. Uh, we're going to be working on the gravity wagon today. But first, let's let all these goats out uh, so they can graze. And also, we're going to lock them over on the neighbor's property uh, for a little while uh, so we can bring our project through these gates here in just a bit. Good afternoon, ladies and steers. Get this gate open. You want to go graze? Let's go. We're going to let them out here for a little while. And graze on this free grass. They haven't really been out here too much in the past couple weeks. They're all the way on the other side of the pasture. Uh, because I had the billies, there's no easy way to walk them over here. Uh, so just in the past week, they've been able to graze this. Letting them out here for a few hours every afternoon. I like to try to let them out about a little before lunchtime. But real busy today at work. Couldn't sneak away to, to come let the goats out. Hey, goatee. She's always the last one. An old bottle baby. So like I said, we have a little bit of a project this afternoon. Uh, in a couple videos back, I showed you where we got a new gravity wagon. Well, not new. New to me, it was my granddad's. Brought it back um, from his farm down in Bamberg. And we brought it here to Newberry. We're gonna start using it. And I actually filled it up the other day. Didn't fill it all the way up. We got right at two tons of feed in it. I didn't want to fill it up all the way because I need some new tires. Didn't want to risk pulling it down the road fully loaded and the tire blow out. I tried to get some new tires, but the used tire guy I normally used didn't have the size I needed. Uh, so we went ahead and put two tons in it. It's ready to be used. We're supposed to be getting some rain here, hopefully tomorrow. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of overcast today. So we're going to be getting some rain. We need to get a cover on it. And that's what we're going to be doing. I've got a tarp and a board and a couple other things that we're going to try out really don't know how we're going to do this yet i just know it needs to be done so like i said we've got some feed in here we got right at two tons uh, it's ground up corn and soybean meal pretty much and that's going to go to feed our pigs over hopefully the next couple weeks i imagine that'll last us maybe a month uh, we'll just have to wait and see but we've got a couple adjustments I want to be making to this thing today. So I picked up this 12 by 9 foot uh, tarp the other day. We need to be putting this on top so we can keep the rain out. Uh, this thing is 6 foot wide uh, by 10 foot. And I've got this piece of 6 inch pipe, I believe it is, uh, that I was hoping to put across there. And just kind of make an easy arch up top. I was just going to put a bolt in it, let it sit on top, and... You know, the water could run off of the tarp, but unfortunately, that pipe is about two inches too long. Uh, so our next thing is going to be this board right here. Just kind of a cold board, I guess, from the hardware store. You can see it's got a pretty decent crack in it. It's got a decent bow in it as well. Uh, so we're going to be using that. My idea is to cut this board 12 foot. We're going to come up here. We're gonna drill a hole in the center right here and just run a lag bolt through into our board. That board's gonna be six, sticking up about eight inches and hopefully that's enough arch to keep our tarp tight and the water can just run off of it. Let's see how this works. Oh. Actually, 
We're only an inch off. We're not even gonna worry about it. It'll be just fine. I don't know if this is gonna be a permanent thing anyways. So now that we're up top, here's the plan. We're gonna measure from here to here, find our center. And uh, wherever that might be, we're gonna go in the center of this piece of metal and drill a 3 8 hole. That way our lag bolt can go through. Alrighty, so it's all strapped down. It's not the prettiest thing, but I think it'll do its job. But this is not a permanent thing. I eventually want to build uh, some kind of roofer up here. Uh, inside the gravity wagon, there's little brackets where you can slip a two by four into. Uh, so what I'm really thinking about doing is really building a, I guess, kind of a rafter system for this thing. Something that we can take in and out uh, pretty quickly and uh, get a real nice tarp to go on it and i don't know i'm gonna have to think about how i really want to do it but this is just temporary so the last thing i want to get done this afternoon to this gravity wagon before we haul it up to the pig pen is i want to work on this flap below this door this thing's about 18 inches wide i really want to take these boards is what i'm kind of thinking and slant it to like something like that uh, i don't want to make anything permanent probably use these existing holes right here somehow or another that way we can pour straight into a five gallon bucket without spilling feed everywhere. I don't know how this is gonna work. It's just something I wanna try. And if this works, we might make something a little more permanent down the road. So I just measured the top of a five gallon bucket and it's about 11 inches wide. We want a little bit narrower than that. And this is 18 inches, it's half 18. I can do math is nine. I'm gonna say I'm gonna make our our opening eight inches. I'm gonna measure and tape behave. The board is essentially going to slant just like that. I'm going to make a mark so I can cut it. it's pretty much going to do that right there. Now we've got to figure out how we're going to fill in this gap to get something secured. Hmm. Two inches. Give me one second, let me figure something out. All right, so we got one side completed. 
Again, not the prettiest thing, nothing permanent. We just have our board, a little bit of angle on this one, flush on this side, and I left the screw hanging out a good bit. I was hoping that we could take this out, but it's kind of wedged in there right now. All I'd have to do is take that screw out and it should work. Let me go ahead and fix up the other side and then we'll test it out. All right, time to see if it works. I'd say so. It's not exactly flowing out of there, but the guide works. We're not spilling much feed. So I guess let's get this thing hooked up to the truck, get it up to the pig pen. I was hoping to get the pigs moved today into their next pen, but it's not quite ready yet. Uh, but we'll go up there and we'll give them a couple buckets of feed. I don't want to fill up the feeder yet because we're going to be moving it tomorrow. But let's hook up the truck. So she's where she's going to be parked for at least a week. Whenever we move the pigs along uh, on up the pen, we'll move the gravity wagon forward. Uh, but I actually have something to show y'all that y'all haven't seen with the pigs. The little pigs are actually starting to do pretty well in this little system of rotating them. Uh, for the past two days, I think, I've come up here and none of them are on the pin, in the pin that they just came off of. They're all staying in this pin. That means our fence is working. They're getting used to it, so we're happy with that. But actually, there's two more pigs in here uh, since the last time you saw the pigs. Uh, the fella that I bought, our first three pigs that we purchased this year, uh, called me on Thursday, said he had some more. Or he had two that nobody ever came and picked up and asked if I was interested in them. I said, I'll be there tomorrow. And I showed up and I knew they were both males and I started considering something uh, that we'll explain in a second. But we took, picked up two males, one of which is actually these are both of them on the end right here. Uh, the smaller one, kind of skinnier, we decided to go ahead and cut him. We'll grow him out to be a feeder pig. Uh, but the one beside him right here, he is uncastrated. We decided to leave him intact uh, for some future plans. So we decided to go ahead and leave him intact. If you've been following the channel since we got these pigs, we've been talking about breeding two of these little sows or gilts right now. We're planning on breeding two of them uh, coming up in the spring. And so, of course, we need a male to breed them. 
Uh, so we decided to go ahead and leave the bigger of the two that we picked up uncut and hopefully he can grow out to be a nice little pig or hopefully a boar for us. Uh, he's actually going to be staying up the road where we take the goats to. Uh, the family that lives there has offered to kind of set up a little pen and, and feed them and take care of them for us. Uh, they actually are getting one of our pigs for butchering this year. Uh, but they decided they wanted to, to kind of let their kids raise a pig. And I thought it was a perfect opportunity. Number one, I don't have to keep a male here. Uh, number two, the pig's going to be growing up around kids, around people. And hopefully it'll be a little tame and won't be kind of an aggressive male. Uh, at least that's the thoughts on it. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, we're going to be separating him off here in a couple days and probably setting up a pen up there in the next couple days and moving him on up there. But other than that, the pigs are doing well. I actually just checked their feeder, so there's no need uh, to pull out of the gravity wagon. We'll just let them clean out that feeder tonight, and then tomorrow I'm going to be moving them over here. So I think this is where we're going to end this video. Still got to go take care of all the other chores, all the other animals. Uh, but the pigs, doing good. Happy to have the gravity wagon. I'm glad to have it covered. We're supposed to be getting some weather this week. Uh, much, much needed rain. But like I said, I'm sorry if the camera work was a little bit different this time. I'm not used to recording and not being able to see my face and uh, kind of spinning this camera around all day. It's kind of got me confused of what I actually recorded or not. So we'll kind of have to see whenever I go edit it. Hopefully tomorrow, we're actually going to start another video tomorrow where we're working on the pig pen. But hopefully I can get my screen fixed tomorrow. If not, I might break out my old phone and see if I can do some recording on it. But I really appreciate you hit, hanging out with us. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, leave us a comment, and we'll see you all in the next one.